Hello everyone, my name is Tam and this is What's In My Bag. So this lady right here is my everyday, absolutely essential, fits everything, my favorite holy grail bag. It's the Goyard Artois MM Tote and I got it in black. Now, when I went to the Goyard store to get a tote, it was between this and the St. Louis tote, which is what everybody has. But the lady at the Goyard store was like, absolutely not, I'm not letting you walk out of here with a St. Louis. And she was really pushing for me to get this one, which is definitely a lot pricier, but the best purchase because this bag has a zip, unlike the St. Louis. And then it also has much stronger reinforcements on each corner of the bag, so it won't rip. So the first and biggest thing in my bag is obviously my laptop. This is the 14 inch Apple MacBook Pro in space gray. Basically what I do all of my work on. I actually never carry my MacBook charger because the battery on that laptop lasts me an entire day. So it takes up less space in my bag. And then the next thing I have is this productivity planner. I got this from Intelligent Change. It lets you plan out your entire day and has all of the little guides for you to prioritize your tasks, which I really like. However, the material like pigment comes off on the inside of your bag and the journal's already done that to my bag so i don't care i still carry it around but just something to note if you want to get the same one the next thing i have is a book i carry a book everywhere i go and i cannot tell you how many times carrying a book in my bag has saved my life right now i'm reading the chimp paradox by professor stephen peters i love this book i'm about halfway through now and i would heavily recommend this book if you feel like Sometimes maybe you get a bit over emotional and you don't have control over your thoughts, your reactions and your feelings. This book is going to help you how to master that. I don't want to be sitting around wasting time or scrolling on my phone. I like to stay off my phone as much as possible. So I'm always reading. Next up, we have headphones. I used to have AirPods. I'm not an AirPod girly. I actually really dislike them. So no matter what, I will always be wearing headphones. These are the Apple AirPod Maxes and then I got them in the silver. I'm in love with these, they're so comfortable, they look so cute, battery lasts forever and it's super convenient when I'm on my laptop and I'm working and I'm editing. Let's see, oh next up we have a fan, yeah I have this really cute black paper fan that Space NK actually sent me, super good and handy and small to keep in my bag so this has been saving my life all summer long. I also have a claw clip which is essential anytime my hair gets messed up this is from the brand kitsch i love this i cannot tell you how many times i bought claw clips and they just are not good for my hair they never fit all of my hair in them this is like a jumbo one and she's so pretty as well next up of course we have my phone and then we also have my disposable camera now i don't know where you can get this from i assume amazon my boyfriend bought me one and himself one so he can capture memories so i like to keep this in my bag all the time and you know what it just really helps me romanticize life being able to take photos on these i have the sunglasses that i'm wearing at the moment these are just from asos i was wearing these yesterday we got a chanel card holder which i got recently and then all of my cards are just in there because i never carry cash on me apartment keys very important and then i have a pen uh, this is for when I want to write my productivity planner and then I always carry a highlighter on me if I'm carrying a book Because I love to read properly and actually absorb all of the information and just make sure that you know When I reread books, which I do all of the time I'm going back to all of my favorite lessons that I learned I normally also carry my vlogging camera in here, but obviously I'm using it right now And when I do I always carry a spare camera battery. This has saved my life more times than I can count Okay, we're starting to get more into the interesting bits here, but we're almost done I always carry a mini version of my We're Not Really Strangers game and it always prompts amazing discussion I never bring it with the intention that I'm gonna use it But you just never know when you're in that mood to like play it with your friends But most of the time me and my boyfriend will always whip out some of these cards on a date to play if you don't know what it is it's basically a card game that always that has deep questions written on them to prompt a deeper conversation what do the people who raised me teach me about love what lessons do i want to keep and what do i want to challenge wow okay this is one of the deeper ones in the entire deck for this mini pack i want you guys to pause this video and if you're brave and confident enough comment your answer in the comment section below because i'd love to read them with the family that I come from, 
affection isn't really their thing and saying the words I love you isn't really their thing but acts of service is like the main love language of my entire family that is not actually my love language but it's the one that I grew up with I really love that even though the people in my family aren't traditionally affectionate they go above and beyond for the rest of us like anytime we need something another family member will drop everything to be there for them pick you up from an airport drop you off here get you this give you advice on that and I love that and then what I want to challenge about what I was taught about love is probably being more vulnerable about love and you know even if you're in an argument with somebody even if somebody is not necessarily reciprocating your love back to you you show up every day and you love with your full heart regardless I then have a little portable charger. This is an Anchor magnetic portable charger. Um, you can get this from Amazon. So the great thing about this is it sticks to the back of your phone. You have to make sure you have a MagSafe case for this though. So it sticks to the back and it will just charge your phone, which means I never have to worry about bringing out my wire with me. It transforms into a little tripod. How cute is that? Oh, and then this is something that not enough people have. I don't even know what it's called, but it's essentially a bag hook and I typed this in onto Amazon and I found these, I got a little pack of three and I keep them in my favorite bag. So definitely my Goyard, my Chanel bag and anything else I'm taking out. Um, and essentially this is like a little magnet that you put on the top of the table on the edge and then the hook will swing round underneath and it's so strong it can literally carry this bag with the entire contents of it even my laptop and it just means you can keep your bag on you, you don't have to put it on the floor or put it away somewhere. Then I have some mints which is essential. These are strawberry sugar-free smints. And then I also keep this little Chanel compact. This is actually a powder compact, but most of the time I use it as a little mirror. And then when you take this out, there's a powder underneath. So whenever on hot days like this, when my makeup is getting a little bit oily, it's super handy. Like I can't really bring out my normal powder makeup that I wear every day because I have to bring my makeup brushes. So this is super handy. Okay, and now we're getting into the last section, which is the most exciting one, a pouch. A pouch is essential to a massive tote like this. You know, if we're talking about your school bag, your uni bag, otherwise you're just always gonna have things floating around in the bottom of your bag. And I've experienced that one too many times. This is my cute little pouch it's from Dior Beauty and she fits a lot in her so let's see okay so first thing of course is hand sanitizer I get this cute little pink one which I picked up from Boots and this is actually a hospital grade hand sanitizer so it's definitely gonna kill any germs but it smells so good this is rhubarb scented which is one of my favorite smells and then following with that I always keep a hand cream in any bag and that's because sometimes like in winter especially in the UK your hands will feel dry when you go out to a public restroom and you use their soap and you wash their hands my hands sometimes feel like sandpaper and it is the most frustrating feeling in the world so I always make sure I have a good hand cream this one is from Le Labo I got it from Selfridges recently this is way bigger than your typical handbag hand moisturizer and I've used many this is definitely my new favorite it's gonna last me a long time then we have an SPF this is from summer Fridays it's these mineral milk sunscreen shade drops in SPF 30 because remember guys even if you put sunscreen on in the morning you have to keep reapplying. So that's what I keep that in my bag for. And then we have some perfume. So I keep this Miss Dior uh, mini perfume. She's so cute. She's like a little roll on. And then this little mini spray, which is almost done. This is a Byredo Gypsy Water, which is my favorite scent. I have their body wash. I have the full perfume bottle. So I had to keep the mini with me everywhere I go. A hair tie, of course. And then lastly, I keep so many lippies in my bag at all times. Um, just because I have about like two or three variations of my everyday lip combo. So depending on my mood, I always want to reach for it. And obviously, you know, we got to keep reapplying when we're eating. So First things first, my lip balm. I've been using this for ages, my holy grail. It gives you the perfect tint, so moisturizing, smells amazing. Then I have my Dior Lip Glow Oil in Cherry. This is actually engraved, but I'm not gonna tell you guys what the engraving says. Once again, courtesy of my boyfriend. He actually bought this for me as soon as we started dating. What a star. And then I have two lip liners. They are both from Morphe. Morphe is the best when it comes to lip liners. MAC used to be my holy grail, but Morphe gives you the same for a fraction of the price. So I have the Morphe Toasty lip liner and then the Morphe Sugar Pie lip liner. So I normally use Sugar Pie to line my entire lip and then I use Toasty just on the cupid's bow and underneath here to give my lips that contour. And then lastly, my favorite lipstick for years now and what I will always continue to repurchase is the NYX 
soft matte lip cream and I normally this is the one in London but I normally carry stock comb with me as well lasts all day never drying on the lips gives me that perfect power I'm wearing the London one right now and that's normally what you guys see me wearing in every single video and that was everything that's in my bag I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you're new here remember that I actually have a main channel this is only my little side channel thank you so much guys for sending in requests I actually only filmed this video because you guys were asking me to so I'd love to hear any of the requests you have and that's all for now thanks for watching I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one bye